Uh, gotta tell you, of all the Prometheus figures that NECA has been released this year so far in the follow-up series, this, is, this was probably one of the most exciting figures I was looking for. Uh, with the David figure, which I will pick up later this year, I was really excited for this one. Uh, the packaging is the same like all the others, but still really nice. You got the a very nice letter front, of course the kind of the logo, the letter front right here from the Prometheus. And the very nice background of the cave itself. On the back of the packaging, you got of course the read up, which is I think the same if compared to um, um, as the engineer pressure suit figure, which I reviewed a few months ago. But uh, here you got the very nice picture of the Deacon Xenomorph himself. Uh, which I really enjoyed in the movie. I all, I really liked the fact they actually kind of brought the alien in the movie itself near the end of the movie. And I really liked the design of this this actual Xenomorph himself. Um, but anyway, uh, on the bottom you got of course the other figures. The chair suit and an engineer which I need to still need to review. I have the figure and I will review the figure as soon as possible. So stay tuned about that. Uh, I of course reviewed a few months back the engineer with pressure suit. David A, which I will uh, pick up later, the Deacon, and of course the other series, which will come later this year, uh, Fifield and Holloway. But let's get this figure out of the packaging and let's see what we have. So here we have the Deacon alien out of the packaging, and uh, bravo to NECA for making once again a magnificent figure. Really, this is just, again just, an awesome figure. Uh, let's have a look. And uh, I gotta tell you, this was, this was by far my most looking for figure of the entire engineer. I'm sorry, not the engineer, but the entire Prometheus line. There we go. Uh, I will pick up later up David later this year. Uh, I don't have the money. Well, I do have the money for it this time, but I kind of wanted to just you know spare it kind of stuff. And I will pick up uh, pick that figure up later this year. It will it will happen soon, believe me. But. Uh, one of the figures I was most looking for was, was this guy right here, the Deacon Alien. And uh, he, does, he doesn't disappoint me at all. Look at that. Just, how, just look how much detail they actually brought, just brought in the figure. He just looks the exact same out of the movie. Although it was only a few seconds, but still, it is just, just, uh, just awesome. Very creepy at the same time. And uh, one thing I just really like about this design of Alien is the fact he looks very humanized and just slanky. That's the thing he just that just creeps me out. Some, no, well, not really creeps me out, but that's one thing that looks very creepy. Just really, really creepy. And I also really like his long, just his long, long skinny arms. The big scary face, or well, eyeless face. Just a very skinny, very creepy uh, creature design, and I love it. But the getaway topic here, the figure just absolutely does look amazing. I really like the shine detail they actually brought us into the figure. It really reminds me of just an original Xenomorph. Because always when I see a Xenomorph, and maybe just and it maybe just lies on the later released aliens from the movies itself. Because I don't find the very first alien from Alien back in 1979 all that slimy look. But because... Later on, actually, all those aliens from the later series have actually kind of this wet look. And that's very cool to see in this figure as well. I also, what I also do really like is the fact he actually got this very black uh, blood spreader on his head. And why do I say blood? Because it's the blood from an engineer. Because when an engineer got impregnated by the big uh, trilobite, trilobite, I'm sorry, uh, this guy actually came in, into his, you know, his body. And yeah, you know what happens what uh, when uh, if you got uh, you know grabbed by a face hugger or sort of thing. But uh, get away the topic here. The figure is just really really cool. It just it just looks exactly like the one in the movie. The design itself is very well, quite the it has the same elements, but it's at the same time very very different. That's a very good comparison. Just a quick comparison. Uh, here we have the original alien. From the very first Alien movie. Um, first of all, you want to see is well. The first things first. He doesn't have a tail. This one ha doesn't have a tail. 
um, the xenomorph right here does actually have a tail. He's much taller and a little more more just alien like. He doesn't have much as this one doesn't have much as you know all those little tubes right here on the, on the body of the original alien. But uh Again, he's very, very, very different. He also kind of reminds me of the dog alien from Alien 3, being the fact he kind of walks with, uh, you know, like a dog kind of stuff. And he's just really, really cool. Check out those big, look at those big hands. Just very, just very big, long hands. Well, not hands, but very long fingers. It's a very creepy face to see. These long, skinny arms with these big hands. Could you imagine this? This creeper in your room? Could you? I'm making a thing, so let's get it. Let's get back on the, on the review. But just the detail itself is just really, really cool. Uh, I also really like his feet. His feet is very. His feet are very human, very human-like, which I really do like as well. Just very, very creepy. Just look how skinny his legs look. And I really just love his face as well. The back itself, he kind of has a ribcage in the back itself, which is really creepy to see. Taking a look at the figure's articulation, uh, the, the the Deacon alien right here does certainly have a lot of articulation. Um, he has a bulge on his head, a very satisfying bulge on his head. You can move it up and down, side to side, all the way around, just all this good stuff. Um, the only little problem I do have with this figure, uh, it's, it's not as, it is not as big, but... Uh, he does have a pinned socket shoulder. He can move him in and out. He can rotate the arm. But the problem is, he can't move him back and forth. The way how the the way how this figure is designed, um, yeah, the, just the reason how this figure is designed, he can only move his arms in and out. And uh, I don't understand why Neca actually didn't give him a back and forth um, articulation. But uh, yeah. So the arms are on a hinge joint or a pin socket joint, so you can move in and out. You can rotate the upper shoulder. You can bend the elbow. You can rotate the elbow. You can have a ball joint hand. You have a ball joint mid stomach area, which is very nice to see. Tons of movement. He has a ball joint leg. You can move back and forth, in and out, all the good stuff. You can bend the knee. You can rotate the knee as well. And there's a ball joint in the feet. Certainly, loads and loads of articulation. Um, now comes to one of the one of the coolest parts of this figure is the feature. Of course, if you watch the Alien movies, aliens have always this very cool and their jaw at uh, action and attack. This guy has it as well. You just need to pull the mouth forward, like so, and then you have to bring the inner jaw open. And now you have a very creepy. And a very dangerous looking Deacon Alien. Just look at the detail they brought in the mouth. Just really, really creepy. Got these very sharp teeth. This upper tongue kind of mouth. Really, really disgusting. But very cool at the same time. I like that. I like that a lot. In a way, of the Deacon Alien is accessories. Uh, first of all, he came with a display base for the first time, actually. Being the fact he has this very small, wanky looking feet, he does actually come with a display stand, with it, which I really do like. So you need actually to wedge these, his feet into the stand. Like... Like so. And there you have a standing up alien, like so. Uh, other accessories are the separate decayed uh, engineer head. One thing that is very nice about this feature, let's first focus on the details, of course, first. Really nice detail. It looks, it just, it absolutely looks that it is actually kind of aged and kinds of stuff. Just really cool. Well, the thing is, here we go. You can actually open the helmet itself, and there you see actually the decapitated face of the engineer. Of course, when David and Elizabeth are going to study his separate head. And it's a very cool accessory to have. You can actually see a lot of detail into the head itself. It looks decayed. 
it just looks very creepy at the same time with his glimpsy little eyes. It's just really creepy. Look at the detail that Mecha actually brought in the head itself. Wow. And last but not least, he came actually with two versions of the Hammer Peats. The very creepy Hammer Peats. This is of course the the well kind of the close version of the hammer peat. Uh very nice detail to actually bottom the hammer peats. If you look at good you can see all the little little colors in there, just little little details. This is of course kind of the shut engineer. This is of course the very opened uh hammer peat of course when he attacks one of the crew members. Just really just really creepy things these little guys. When I saw them, I was kind of like, okay, what are these things? And when they attacked them, I was like, yeah, these things are definitely creepy. And one thing that is nice on these little figures is the fact they actually are bendable. So you can actually pose these little uh, hand repeats in the way you want. So the Deacon alien right here is, again, a magnificent figure made by NECA. And definitely, and definitely, probably my favorite figure of the Prometheus line. I think with David, this is probably my favorite. These, the paint is top notch, the articulation is great, despite the fact he doesn't have the back and forth uh, movement in the shoulder, but isn't that the big of a deal? It would have been nice that it actually could move back and forth, but yeah. Just the feature itself of the inner jaw is magnificently made, and just this figure is really, really, and really cool to have. I recommend this figure for any alien fan. In your AA collection, and uh, if I give this figure a rating, I would probably give it a good solid 9.5. But there was again a tour review from March 2046, and I'll see you guys next time with another review. Later!